Welcome back to the channel, I'm Damo, and on today's video we're going to go through 7 reasons why the B7 version of the Audi A4 is the best of the lot. Before we get started on this pedal out video, if you haven't done already, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon, and then you'll get notified whenever there's a new video. Cheers. Number 7 then design. The B7 was morphed from the B6 which was originally designed by Peter Schreyer. He was the guy behind the TT, the original one, and the rebooted Beetle. He took those lovely Bauhaus principles and he worked his magic on the A4. Its proportions are just lovely in my opinion and it still looks fresh and modern even today. Number six, simplicity. The B7 is the last A4 to have a pure, simple recipe, but with still holding some of those true modern creature comforts that we kind of need and get used to, like electric windows, power steering, side impact protection bars, Bluetooth, things like that. There's no driver select modes, there's no adaptive dampers, it just gets on with things simply. It has the right level of tech and comfort to not feel too old, but not so much that it feels a little bit crazy and complicated like a NASA spaceship. If simplicity is your thing, then the B7 an Audi A4 is for you. Number five, let's look at some numbers. The B7 Audi A4 weighs 1,540 kilograms versus 1,565 kilograms for the B8. That makes it 25 kilograms lighter. The B9 weighs a hefty 1,650 kilos, a whole 110 kilograms heavier. And this is comparing like for like models, remember. So we're looking at the two liter TFSI Avant versions of the A4. The B9 also has a smaller fuel tank, 61 liters versus the B7's 63 liters. Number four, reliability. So according to reliability index, the B7 Audi A4 is more reliable than its successors. Number three, dimensions. Car models tend to get larger as they progress. The B7 Audi A4 is just the perfect size vehicle to fit in most small parking spaces and also tight garages without having to worry too much about banging your doors. So that's, that's quite nice. Number two, affordability. A ropey 150k high miler will set you back about 1500 pounds, UK pounds. And that's probably gonna be a diesel. Whereas if you look really, really hard, you'll get an absolute minter, maybe 50, 60,000 miles for anywhere between 4,000 and 5,000 UK pounds. Number one, power to weight. I'm going to compare this B7 2 litre TFSI Avant with the B8 and B9 from a brake horsepower per tonne perspective. So the B7 gets 140 bhp per tonne. The B8, remember this is the same, basically the same model, same engine car gets 132 so bhp per ton 132 bhp per ton 8 bhp per ton less than the b7 and the b9 gets 134 so slightly more than the b8 but less than the b7 so there you go bhp per ton for the audi a4 b7 is higher than its successors it's better right Thanks for watching this pedal out video. If you liked it, please, please, please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done already. Hit the subscribe button, click the little bell icon, and then you'll get notified whenever there's a new video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.